with um Ryan, they're setting him up with uh or they, they were talking about setting him up with Jorge Linares. Um I want to get your guys' take on that. What do you, do you think that's a good fight for Ryan or, or do you think Jorge's too experienced? Because I know a lot of people have brought that up too that Jorge might be a little too experienced for Ryan at this point. I don't know. Well, you guys seen how he washed up that guy, Carlos Morales. But then again, actually, Carlos Morales held up a good fight, right? He held, up, he held his own so. Well, with, Ryan, he, he lasted longer with Ryan when he fought Ryan. I think he went the distance with Ryan, and Jorge put him out, I think, in like three rounds. Uh, yeah, but think, then the other guy that Ryan fought knocked him out in one round, and it, and it took Tank a, a little bit uh, to, to get him out of it. Yeah, Ryan has been looking really good in his last fights, bro, and he made quick work of Duno, and everybody thought Duno was a killer, and he low-key was running through everybody. So um, you got to give Brian his credit, bro. You have to, and uh, that would be a good fight. It's, that would be a good fight. I can't say who would win, to be honest. I think Jorge Linares is very experienced, but a lot of people will say he's washed up. They thought he was washed up before he met with Salas, right? And now he's a little bit into the things again, and now they're starting to think he's washed up again. But who knows? Who knows? I think um, – I don't want to say he's washed up because then if he wins, then they're gonna, I'm going to end up probably saying, oh, he's going to – I just say it'll be a good fight. That's yeah. I no, I, I'm, I, I want to see the fight. Um, I think it'd be a good fight. I think you and, and Ryan is something that could be a, a huge fight as well uh, in the future. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. Well, and I'll be walking out with Fernando Vargas because that's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, yeah. <laughs> what was that, Zenon? Morales. And Eric Morales. Oh, and Eric Morales. <laughs> um, so, you know, uh, with the future, Carlos, um, I, I guess, you know, what are, are the plans then? Are you going to get one or two fights in and then uh, start uh, getting back in? Yeah, yeah. Uh, more, more, than any, more than anything, I'm doing that just because um, I'm going to be adding somebody to the team, you know, and I want to, like, the whole family. No, not really, but just, like, my team to be, to be going – through the full motions of it and feeling good with it, you know, feeling comfortable having my training camps out there in LA because I'm, like, if you've seen the fight, my dad and my uncle, they love me so much, bro, that they panic, you know, they panic when I got dropped in the corner. So, if had it been another coach, maybe he would have handled things a little bit different. So, I believe that we do need a little bit of more experience because um, my dad and my uncle, there's no doubt that they're great coaches. You know, they took me all the way to the games and, um, it was them who took me to the game. It's not the USA boxing team, you know. But uh, I believe that the pro game is a little bit of a more ruthless game and more, way more experienced in this type. So we're going to do that. We're going we're gonna to add somebody right now. And um, that's what we're looking for. I'm looking at a lot of great coaches in L.A. I plan on staying in L.A., bro. Um, they asked me if I like Ronnie in Houston. I like Ronnie, but maybe Houston is not the best for me right now. Who are you guys uh, uh, thinking about in uh, L.A.? Um, I mean, the buddy McGurk, you know, I like how he mm -hmm. works. I've always liked how he works. And, um, I think I'm going to give it a shot when I'm going to try to do him. I like Robert Alcazar as well. That's one who uh, we went with him and we felt really comfortable with him. And we had sparrings out there with him. And after the sparring, we were sitting down and talking and looking at the sparring sessions, what I did right, what I did wrong. And he's like a very old fashioned type of coach because he was looking at my old fights and like going back to like the way I stand, to the way I bunch of everything, you know, how, how my feet are distanced, and um, I like them too, bro, but it's all about feeling comfortable, you know, and so we're gonna, I like, I like Buddy McGregor, to be honest, so I want to try it. 